Hello, my name is Monica Ponzini and I'm going to talk about Memento and its time travel portal. Memento is a project developed by the prototyping team of the Research Library of the Los Alamos National Laboratory and the Computer Science Department of Old Dominion University. The Memento project enables digital preservation by providing open source tools, for, both for developers and clients, to make archived web pages disseminated throughout various web archives more seamlessly accessible. The Time Travel Portal is a Memento tool which provides accessibility to end users. The Time Travel Portal is an aggregator which allows users to locate archived versions of web pages. It can be accessed from the website timetravel.mementoweb.org. To use the Time Travel Portal, type the URL of the website you want to explore in the search box. Then, under the search box, enter the desired date in year, month, day format and time in military format, as you can see in, on screen right now. The Time Travel Portal homepage offers two options, Find and Reconstruct. To use the Find function, click on the Find button. The system will search a series of web archives and version control systems. Try to find the requested date and time for the website and display a list of archived versions of the web page, or mementos, one for each web archive that stored a version of it. Often, it is not possible to find an exact match because the page was not archived at that specific time, so the search results will return the closest dates and times available. The system will also provide, when available, information about the previous memento and next memento held in each archive, as well as the date the archive began collecting the page, first memento, the last time it archived it, last memento, and a list of all the captures for the requested website by the specific archive. Each memento listed is an active link to the resource. By clicking on each link, the archived page will load and you can navigate it and follow its links as long as the corresponding web pages have been archived as well. Please note, the availability of each memento listed in the search results depends on the hosting web archive, so sometimes it is possible to find links to unavailable resources, like in this case. By clicking on the Embed button on the right of each memento link, the system also provides a robust link for the archived page, a link which can be embedded and will remain operational even when the original link dies. To use the Reconstruct function, click on the Reconstruct button. According to the Time Travel website, the system will try to reconstruct a virtual web page at the requested date and time by using elements from various web archives. According to the website, a timeline should also indicate the elements allocation. However, at the time of the creation of this tutorial, the system would only begin to display a web page with a reconstructing the page message on top of it, but it would not show a timeline. Once either the find or reconstruct function is accessed, users can directly perform other queries by using the navigation panel on top of the page. As you can see, the Time Travel Portal is a useful tool to easily search, access, and navigate archived web resources. The Memento project offers an array of tools for developers and clients, which can be accessed from mementoweb.org tools. Two useful complements to the Time Travel Portal are the Memento Time Travel and Mink browser extensions for Chrome. These tools are aimed at integrating the live web and its archived versions and allow users to discover and access these versions directly via web browser. This concludes my presentation. If you want to know more about the Memento project, these are the references I used for my presentation. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. My name is Monica Ponsini and my email address is gb5457 at wayne.edu.